Alright gamers, welcome. This game we're going to be playing Samira. I'm going to show you how to play and build Samira on patch 14.19. I'm actually going to be Samira Rel into Way Alistar for Ruins we're running Conqueror, Triumph, Bloodline, Cutdown, uh, Level Collection, and Treasure Hunter. And so the build is pretty much just the same build as last season, so if you've already been playing Samira in the previous season, you know already know the build. It's just going to be Collector, into Infinity Edge, into Shield Bow. It's the most basic thing. Um... Let's see. Oh, he was ready for that. Okay, we managed to cheese a little bit of damage. Rel is a bit overstaying though. She didn't have to tank so much damage on the return, but that's fine. If we managed to find an engage on to Hui, I was gonna level my E there. And we would just level one all in is actually a possibility. Come to think of it, Alistar may have proceeded to knock me into the turret, but I don't I don't think it would have been that smart, let's be real. It's a possibility though. I think it would have been worth there as well for Rel to just flash engage on the way. Don't have to be super afraid of the way uh, burn damage at this level, I don't think. It doesn't seem to do much damage. Alright, but at this point we're too close to the turret for Rel to be any good. We need her to be in a position where she can safely engage. So we're going to let the enemies push into us, we're not going to push here. We let this cannon drop very low. Sorry, well. Okay, this minion won't die for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and place a ward. Gives us vision into the river a little bit, and also... Will reveal... Hang on. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, we'll reveal uh, Gwen coming out of the brush if she gets from there. We really want to look for another engage right now. If she could just flash and play, that would be perfect. Yeah, this is like overly forced without actually overly forcing. In a sense, because she absolutely should just flash on the way. But she, she's really intent on forcing the engage at all costs, but she's not willing to flash at the same time. It's like overly forced, but not actually forcing hard enough at the same time, you know? Like, if you're not going to flash on the way, don't bother engaging at all if he's not in position to be engaged on. The only rolls I ever struggle against, though, are the ones that just blow flash immediately level 2, go for the guaranteed uh, point and click CC where she just flips you over, whatever that is. Roll that isn't willing to blow flash level 2 or 3 is just not that higher pressure or champion. Anyway, it seems like he's based already for some reason. Weird. And I don't think he used TP either. We'll place another ward. We're about to get a... Scuttle Crab, so we got the river rewarded. And now if I can just shove this, then I'll want a base for my BF Sword. Huh. I don't think a way he meant to do that. Something tells me he maybe didn't mean to do it. Okay, this is actually perfect timing, because the next wave is a cannon wave. If I want a base, now seems to be the absolute perfect time. Don't force a fight. Nice one. Now, since Trooper is actually another item, crit item, that has been performing a lot, uh, really well on a bunch of other ADCs, though. I'm gonna look it up. It, di it does have a really good win rate on Samira. But sad, really, I don't know how many games. Based on like how other ADCs are performing with Essence River, though, I would have probably assume that Essence River is actually not bad on her. I'm not gonna try this game. I just want to show you the standard Samira build, but it's maybe something you can try out in future games if you feel like it. Because I imagine it's probably actually better than Collector. 
Especially if the enemy team is going to be tanky. Are they, is the white just basing again? I guess I'll shove. I mean, the, at least the Alistars started roaming. Okay, now we force the guys TP. I'm not going to be able to pressure them under turret, nor am I going to push the plating. So I may as well roam. See if there's anything to achieve here. Probably not, but if nothing else... Ooh, look at this way HP... Uh, sorry, the set HP, actually. There is something to be achieved by roaming here. Beautiful. We farm that, then we return to bot lane with a uh, kill. And also actually more CS than if I'd stayed bot lane, because... Uh, maybe about the same, actually, because I did lose about three melees there. Okay, I really want Roll to just use Flash at some point. Especially if Alistar is not in the lane, although he is right now. I would disregard this yes to follow up and engage if it was against Hui, but I won't bother against Alistar. That is illegally easy for Hui to land, holy shit. He's trying to harass me just with that. He's using his damage ability to clear the wave and then just poking with the almost unmissable CC. I wish there was a button that literally just spelled out for her. Flashing him, flashing him, flashing him. Holy crap, that was really long range. Uh, he's dead. B what? You're kidding me. Nope. Dude. That is so unreal. Please kill him. I'm dead. Eventually. That is so crazy. Did you see that? The instant I flashed the auto him, I immediately got knocked back. Holy shit. That was such unlucky timing. My god. Oh, she might die there? No, she... Nah, no, she's fine, barely. Yeah, Samira will be in a much better spot next patch, though, because they're going to be reducing the cost of Collector from... Well, basically, basically, at this point, instead of costing me 500, it's going to cost me 50. They're reducing the cost by 450. It's going to be a 2,950 gold item. Ah, this Swift it sucks. Forgot to play the replay, actually, but yeah, I mean, you probably saw that. You can just replay it yourself if you want to see. Actually, unreal luck. One of the most unlucky things that has happened to me in the past probably few months. Probably won't be able to dive, sadly. Hmm. But I can apparently bait the Alistar into walking into me. Dude, how does he knock me back from there? Uh, sadly, I'm just dead now. Fuck! How did he stun me from there? Look at this. That was, that was a freaking ADC, bro. That was an odd attack. Just not my game, I guess. But I mean, we've got the Collector. We're in a really good spot right now. Any engage that... We, in theory, any engage. I mean, Alistar is really good peel, though. It's the main issue, as we've clearly seen. And apparently it can take a lot of luck to actually land, to actually kill somebody and then engage that we're supposed to win. So <laughs> what we're also finding out. We'll shove this and then maybe we can try and help mid.
Huh. Might not even need it. Gwen just walked away for some reason. Okay, I think that gank is over, so we're just gonna go for this. We could try and just fuck with Gwen in her jungle, because she's presumably somewhere over here. If not on the red buff, then on the raptors. I think she's probably already finished them, though. Yeah. It was worth a shot, though. Oh, crap. Lilia is smite. Nice, she got them all anyway. Cool. Oh my god, my bad. Something, something, not my day. Uh, Ral should be positioned much more aggressively than that. We should still win fights, even if we engage on Alistar. We, like, I just should have do more DPS than Hui, so. Oh, hello. Fuck. Well, that sucks. I tried to dash from, like, onto the other side of set, but... It... What did it make me even do? Because I didn't move. Let me see that again. Huh. It made me dash backwards. I mean, I was expecting to, like, dash... You know, my HP bar is clearly below his, right? So I must be under him, so if I dash, I should dash there. But it just made me dash to the right. How does that make sense? Weird. I don't you can cancel his base if nothing else. Yeah, I'm not gonna go chasing after him though. He can head he can headbutt me away whenever he wants to, so it would just be wasting my time and costing me the minion wave. I'll leave the ward for now, it's not terribly important to clear. I'd rather shove the way faster, maybe join in that fight after. Damn. Again, not gonna be baited, he can headbutt me whenever it's needed, and if he thinks he can win a fight, he can lock me down instead. Oh, hello. Oh, let's go. Huge shutdown. It's about time I can I finally catch a break. It's gonna give me BF Sword too. I might just want to base here though. Because I'm kind of low now, obviously. Next wave is gonna wave anyway. I'll take a while to shove it all in if he wants to try and crush. What boost do we actually want this game? Let's see. AP, AP, tank, tanky, AD, AD. Hmm, now the Tobbies nor Merc Treads feel right here. I definitely obviously don't want to rush Tobbies in lane for sure when I'm laning against the Mage, but it might still be worth later on. Against the Pantheon and Seth. Oh, my top lane is here. I don't think he should be doing that. I don't know why he roamed now of all times. Got too much CC, man. Maybe I should have actually gone aggressive because I still have barrier. Okay, set is on the way. I need to get out. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't land. I didn't want to waste barrier like that. Yeah, it's actually really hard to find the good moment to hold. I'm, I have, except for that one where I just killed Gwen, I haven't had a fully, fully channeled ult a single time this game. If Alistar spaces a CC out, there's just always something to interrupt it. I think the main time that we needed to get ahead in this lane, really, was in the level 2, level 3. We all just played it too passive, she needed to be willing to blow her flush. And again, I say too, pa I say too passive even though she was playing aggressive, right? She was willing to play aggressive, but not willing to blow the one 
cooldown that would have been aggressive enough. Felt like Alistar might be about to ward there. But obviously, even aside from level 2 and level 3, we had plenty of chances. I just got a little bit unlucky. Really... Can't help but wonder what would have happened if not for that one flash into the head, but... Because that really should have been just a free death for Huey. No, like, it wasn't even a particularly special play from us, right? It was literally just the matchup showing its, like, showing its, uh... Rearing its head, its ugly head. Where Huey should have realized, oh fuck, this matchup is awful. What the fuck, they just engage on me and I die. But he just barely didn't die out of luck, man. Like, what the fuck? Really frustrating. Anyway, he just died. Apparently I just get a free uncontested turret out of it. Nice one. And I've already got Infinity Edge if I want it. It's relatively early. I still have a decent amount of gold. Just because of my CS. And I do have 8 kills, I guess. Yep, interrupted immediately. Unreal, man. Oh my god. There's always something. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, that really blows. I didn't even notice he had it charged up, though. My bad. He charges it up almost entirely out of vision is the thing. So, I didn't really have time... Well, I had time to process it. I just didn't when he finally came out of the brush. I didn't process that he had a fully charged D already. Almost, anyway. But with Infinity Edge, we can do a lot of damage with our ult if we can actually fully, fully channel one. Even just get a half channel would be nice. I've got to give props to Alistar Wars too. Like, even if he did get a bit lucky in that one play, for the like, aside from that, he just does play really well. Especially the way he just always seems to save his CC for my ult. Not fully depleting it on anything except my ult. Doesn't mean he deserved to survive, uh, to have Huey survive that one fight, but yeah, no, I'm not, never going to be able to let go of that, am I? Uh, might be able to. No, fight is already over. We'll clear this pain and shove another wave. Pantheon seems like it's probably going here. That guy looks like he's very strong, by the way. He's insanely tanky. I would definitely struggle to fight him. I almost certainly can't. Definitely an argument in favor of Tabi's. We'll probably end up doing that. There's Lilia getting collapsed on. It's not impossible. It's a good fight for us. It's only Alistar. Alistar doesn't do damage. I want to farm Bob, but I'll stop by the base first to get Tobbies. Wow. Indari was a great captain. He taught me how to shoot. He literally did that using a ward that was visible by the turret. Nice. <laughs> Maybe he didn't realize though. Uh, I'm way too far away to be joining a fight, so obviously we're just going to keep on pushing here. Would be the most ridiculous thing in the world to start rotating to a topside fight from bot lane. We just take this opportunity to get some free farm. If the fight goes long enough, we can continue pushing the turret as well. This one I can maybe join. And the most important thing is, if I were to push the turret anyway, like, they would just be able to collapse on me. So, like, hang on. Fuck, hang on. Uh, I should have been able to block that, I think, for him. Okay, we do kill Hoy at least. Oh. Looks like I live. Where the hell is the Pantheon, though? I'm uneasy about the fact that he's not a mission. There he is. 
Yeah, so when the fight is moving bot side, even if I think I can't actually win that... I, I, can't, I can't actually win that fight, sorry. I can't really keep on pushing because, you know, once they finish this fight, they're just going to collapse on me after, so... If I'm, like, 50-50 on whether I would win the fight or not, I may as well join it anyway, or at least start pathing towards it. Because it's not a waste of time, you know, I literally can't keep on pushing anyway, so... Whereas if the fight is over here, and it's continuing to move further up, that would be a complete waste of time to just leave bot lane. Very rarely would I ever be able to join a fight when I started that far away from it. The fight would have to take forever. We can do shield both third if we want. And to be fair, we have a almost full damage comp. I'm not sure I actually need to maximize damage here. And nor are they really that tanky besides Alistar. So I might just end up doing shield bow instead. That doesn't look like it's worth joining. It's fighting an enemy territory. Oh crap, I fucked up. My bad. My bad, I don't know what I was thinking there, I zoned out. More like I didn't see way above me. But still, like, even if without the way, I got way too close to the Alistar. Didn't really respect that we were not in a position to be going aggressive there. I could have flashed over the wall though, I suppose. It would have been worth flashing to save my life. Don't know why I didn't consider that. Maybe I thought it was down. A good fight, so we ignore it. I wonder what rank the Alistar is actually. I'd be surprised if it's just some random Plath or Emerald player. This is normals for the record, so his rank could literally be anything. Oh, revealed. Whoa, what? Dude, I was literally all tabbed looking at this guy's rank, in fact. Jesus, what the? Wait, let me see. Dude, I did not think that there was anybody in range that could attack me. Because the vision, I guess I got better by the vision. Literally, I must have tabbed out as soon as he came on screen. Holy shit, that is such unlucky timing. Wow, my bad. He is diamond, or what, last season at least was diamond 4, I'm surprised he was only that low. Oh, and he's an ADC main. This makes even less sense. Well, I mean, no, I can't believe it. I can't believe an ADC main would shock me with how good he is at support. How much better he is <laughs> at support than actual support mains. I can actually sadly believe it. This could be a really- Oh my god, I'm almost already dead. What? Okay, I must have- No, not even the set W, it was just Gwen. What? I was so sure the reason I must have died so instantly was because I must have dashed into the set true damage, but no. Holy shit, that was absurd. I should have been able to get a double there. Or, well, I don't know if Gwen- No, 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 set was the tanky one and he was low, so he was gonna die and Gwen was squishy enough to die. 
That would have been a double if I didn't just get instantly blown up. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, that sucks. It wasn't even intended for me either. Like, I just dashed through it as she aimed it at Rel. Fuck me. Oh, not to sound like a broken record, but man, not my game. Well, anyway, yeah. Shield bow, followed by Lord Dominic, so you can do it in the reverse order. That is the Samira build for the season. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this educational and want to see more content like it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.